All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a wood grain painting that looks almost like water, has a nautical coastal feel. To do this, all you need is a piece of plywood. This is quarter inch plywood, and you can cut it to any size that you want. These are eight by 10. I sanded the edges for a nice smooth finish. When you pick your plywood, you're gonna to wanna to look at the store for something with interesting grain. Look for something that inspires you. Movement is really beautiful. A lot of times the plywood is double-sided. The back might be more plain. Go through all the pieces and pick the one that you like best. Then you're gonna go through your paint and select the colors you wanna use. I'm just using regular craft paint, Americana Deco Art brand, but you can use any paint you want, any colors you want. I'm going with a blue palette today. Now you're gonna want to just identify grains of art and we're gonna paint along the grain. Important thing to remember on this is that we want to leave a lot of open space. The grain is what's interesting. So we only want to fill up maybe 10 to 20% of our canvas. So I'm gonna start with my first color. And I pick this grain. I'm just gonna paint along it. almost like the coloring book. Color by numbers, something like that. So it's very easy to be a beginner painter and do this type of painting. And I like to make my lines thick enough so that you don't really see the grain through the paint. Go back. Add a little bit more. It's about that that movement, that feeling of movement. So then you just pick another grain and you paint it. This one I'm going to do a little bit thicker, so you can pick two grains that are near each other, and you can either connect them like that or you can fill it in. And then I like to have each paint color appear at least three times on my canvas. So I'm gonna pop over here and you can always come back and add more. I like this line a lot. And just paint along. Go in and kind of thicken this one. Kind of thickening it on the curves. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna go rinse my brush. All right, now I'm gonna come in with this bright blue Laguna color. And this is kind of my favorite color of what I selected, so I'm gonna go a little bit thicker here. This green is just calling for me. And 
and you really can't mess this up. I have even been doing this. I was doing one just this morning over here that I wasn't paying attention and I put my hand down and smeared some of the paint. So I just created my own wood grain. So you don't have to follow the grain. You can create your own. But the grain, you know, that's kind of the point is to trace the natural feel of the wood. Ooh, I love that color. It's so pretty. Doesn't that just make you want to go to the beach? <laughs> it does me. All right. So now I want to pull, I have this teal color over here. I want to pull it on the rest of my canvas. So I could pull it down here, I can pull it up here. This line is really cool to me. This line, I just want to be conscious that some of the really cool stuff I want to leave go right here just for fun and then I will come so here this will be a lot of blue right here on this plane I could do this bigger one Try your best not to make your lines too straight if you can. Catching just that little, little bit of movement in there makes it so interesting. So it looks like this grain curves back down here. So I'm gonna pick that up. It's almost like a river. And give it a little thickness here. And then I think I'm going to play it onto this line right here and complete it. You know, who knows how the grain really connects. You just kind of have to pick the story that you're trying to tell. Now you don't have to use blue paint when you do something like this. It could be green. It could be red and be more like fire, flames. I use blue because I tend towards a coastal blue color palette. So it suits me, suits my home, suits my personal style. Go back in here, thicken this up a little bit. Sometimes you have to resist the urge to touch it too much. That's when you're gonna mess it up. All right, so I don't have a lot of thick lines on here. I have this that's a little bit thicker, this that's a little bit thicker. Sometimes you can paint two grains and fill in in between. I think I'm gonna actually fill this in right here. That's interesting. Thicken this line. I just like to have a little bit of different widths. 
of the different lines. Just for interest, that's what's interesting. This last color, I already squirted out. It's called Thicket Americana. So again, this is just the really inexpensive craft paint. You don't need fancy supplies to do something cool. So this one, I'm gonna come in here and do this. This color has a bit more gray in it. I'm gonna hop it all the way to here. Get more of it. Thickness this is feeling a little thin to me. Thicken it out a bit. This isn't a fancy paintbrush either. This came in a big pack for just a couple bucks from the craft store. Just work with what you have. I used to use a palette, but it got so annoying to clean, I just use a paper plate for my paint now easier for me for what I'm doing. All right. Then I'm going to come up here. Just catch this. I might just sort of widen the tail. Oh yeah, that looks interesting to me. Then I want to hit this blue one more spot. I could hit it right here. This, I'm actually thinking this right here. This one is very interesting to me. See this? Splits. Like so. when you mess it, you mess with it. All right, I'm gonna call this one done. So you see how easy and quick that was for me to make this painting? I'll show you, here's one I did this morning from the same plywood, same colors. Totally different look. So this one I went with a much bigger section of this light color. And this one I stayed more thin sections, but I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you will make yourself some wood grain art.